Cars are such a thrilling topic to discuss on. Tesla and Toyota are top competitors and rule the car world. Here we are today with a new topic, CEO of Toyota goes crazy, huge news. Welcome to our channel, Cartastic. Sakichi Toyota, founder of Toyota Automatic Loom Works and Akio Toyota's grandpa, is regarded as the father of the Japanese Industrial Revolution. Toyota Motors, one of the world's largest automakers, was founded by his son. Since Sakichi Toyota's time, the gifted members of Akio Toyota's family line have dominated the company's high management. Before becoming president last summer, Toyota rose through the ranks after joining the family firm in 1984. But, according to De Lorenzo, he probably wasn't in charge of the choices that caused the business's explosive growth a few years ago. He said that Katsuaki Watanabe, Toyota's predecessor, was responsible for such. De Lorenzo stated, Under Watanabe, they built plants at a dizzying pace to enhance volume. The corporation lost part of its emphasis on dependability, quality, and gradual, cautious modifications somewhere along the road. He claimed that things were falling between the cracks. Toyota, 53, might have been appointed out of a desire to bring the business back to its heyday under family control. The last member of the Toyota family to head the carmaker before Toyota seized the helm was his uncle Tatsuro Toyota, who left his position as president in 1995. Shoichiro Toyota, Akio Toyota's father, oversaw the business for 10 years before him. When Toyota was experiencing a severe downturn, Akio Toyota took the helm of Toyota, according to Emily Parker, a senior economist at the Asia Society in New York. Bringing him in may have served as a means of communication that Toyota was returning to its fundamentals and that the family was again Toyota's priority. But, she said that Toyota's worth to the business was stemmed from his exposure to the West. After receiving his MBA from Babson College in Massachusetts, he spent many years working in America. It's been noticed that his personality runs counter to the stuffy, traditional image of the Japanese businessman. According to reports, Toyota wore a white suit to a Chinese auto show in 2004. Parker may be understood as combining traditional Japanese ideals with this Western experience. Not really that Toyota is over the top. According to Mike Crahan, a former graduate classmate, he was generous but frank. He added that he wasn't a massive man on campus, but people may know him due to his name. Neither how he was treated nor behaved was that of a rock star. Toyota most likely made a statement with his car, which was always a Toyota model. Crean Mark that, although he generally seemed to have the nicest car, one shouldn't condemn someone for it. With a $1 billion net worth, Toyota has years of experience with and serving the company in various positions, including posts at every stage in automotive operations, including production, marketing, and product design in Japan and abroad. He worked in California as vice president and board member of the newly formed United Motor Manufacturing that it is a joint venture between Toyota and General Motors that began producing vehicles in April 1998. He was appointed to the TMC Board of Directors in June 2000, following his return to Japan. He also created a website called Gazoo.com, where he used and new cars could be traded online through dealers. Together with production management consultancy, he oversaw market activities both nationally and in America. While Akio Toyota has appeared Chief Operating Officer of the Asia and China Operations Center in June 2001, he was promoted to Managing Director in June 2002. Over the years, he has held several other positions with the company, including Senior Managing Director in 2003. The title was changed in 2011. In addition to the Asia, Oceania, and Middle East Operations Group, he rose to the position of Chief Officer for both groups. Toyota assumed leadership of TMC in 2009. Not just a devoted follower of racing, Akio Toyota also enjoys competing. Toyota was advertised as the sporty version of its vehicles at auto racers, such as the Lexus ISF and the Lexus LFA. Imagine your class teacher or boss gifting you a bunch of holidays, but in dreams, as it will be a dream forever. Just a quick reminder to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel Cartastic. Additionally, he has driven in competitions, including the 2009 24 Hours of Nuremberg, using the Marizo Kinoshita. 
With his LFA prototype number 14, he has attained the 87th overall rank and the 4th spot in his class. The family name Toyota, which pleased businesses and customers, inspired the name Toyota. The brand name was thought to sound friendlier and had an 8-stroke count in Japanese, which is connected to fortune and wealth. By October 1989, the original logo had been changed to mark the company's 50th anniversary. The letter T for the Toyota combines those three ovals within the new logo. The giant circle enclosing the inner ovals reflected the global development of Toyota's technology and boundless possibilities for the future. In contrast, the two perpendicular ovals symbolize the mutually beneficial relationship between the consumer and the business. Under Akio Toyota's leadership, Toyota Motors produces a diverse range of electronic, technology-powered goods, including hybrid electric vehicles, plug-in hybrids, all-electric vehicles, hydrogen fuel cells, SUVs, pickup trucks, and luxury-type cars, buses, and motorsports. The company also engages in non-automotive endeavors like robots, agricultural biotechnology, higher education, and sewing machine technologies. The organization is present worldwide and serves many clients from different industries. The world's most difficult amateur event, the Nürburgring 24-hour endurance race, was attempted by Narus, Akio, and their fellow test drivers in 2007, just a few years after they started Gazoo Racing. Nevertheless, Narus didn't get, want them to participate in the race with the intention of winning. Instead, he planned to use the race to teach the drivers and vehicles. Akio remembers the event upon reflecting. Much more difficult than running a trial route for three years were the demands of competing in a 24-hour race at the world's most challenging circuit in Nürburgring. Roads make vehicles, as Narus used to say. Although the race is challenging, it improves the machines. The Nürburgring is where I first heard the phrase, the road makes the car. The challenging roads of the Nürburgring push the, an automobile to its limits. A variety of problems that don't typically exist on ordinary test courses develop one after another due to the challenging nature of the system. The team works hard to solve these new problems before and during a race, and the skills developed on the track eventually find their way back to the factory to be applied to the creation of automobiles. Gazoo Racing has been focused on creating ever better vehicles and growing the motorsports supporting population. Akio faced intense criticism from both inside and outside the firm for his insistence on participating in risky racing activities. People were expressing uh, concerns such as, isn't this a, his hobby? And doesn't he know how dangerous it is for someone in his position? The company, which had previously been thought of as practically financially indestructible, is now forecasting the first loss and has experienced a 4% decline in sales from the anticipated 10 million a year to 8.97. After American gasoline electric vehicle sales plunged, it canceled plans to commission a factory in Alabama, USA, to construct the new generation's Prius hybrid. The company's operations are expected to undergo significant change under Toyota, who will also reinstate the company's prioritization of its clients. And let's hope he'll spruce up the product line and add some new charisma, personality, and character to the company that produces the most trustworthy and reasonable, if somewhat uninteresting, vehicles in the world. Thank you for watching this video. We'll be back with another hot topic in the car world very soon. Till then, stay tuned. Like, share, and comment down below. Also, suggest us the next topic you need a video on. Till then, take care and see you soon.